Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, I want to show you how you can build your own custom registration page which can be accessed from front end by just a URL. For instance, this is a custom registration page that I built using Elementor and CrocBlocks JetBlock plugin. I made a video on Elementor login widget and how that works with WordPress credentials. Even this widget works with WordPress registration process. So I'll show you how to build it visually and how you can tweak it. Let's get into it. So before you build the page itself, you need to go to settings and click on general and under WordPress settings, you need to make sure that membership, this box is checked. If it's not checked, just check it and click on save changes. This will allow users to register through the registration page that we're going to create. So this is mandatory before you create a new page and you need to create an actual page on your site, which can be accessed through URL but not an Elementor page or an Elementor template because we want it to be on the site. I'll call it registration page. I'll click on edit with Elementor. Also within the WordPress general settings, you can also choose the role that will be created when we create a new user. I'll just pick author. You can pick anything, but don't pick admin because if the user becomes admin, he can screw up your website. Even editor is kind of dangerous. So you can limit him to an author or a contributor or a subscriber. And based on what you have on your website, there'll be some additional roles. If you have uh, WooCommerce installed on your site or maybe another plugin installed on your site, they'll have their custom roles, but we'll just settle with author. I'll just click on author again. I'll save changes. So next time we create a new user, he'll be an author before you change it. And you as an admin can change him to an editor or any other role that you want. So don't forget to click on save changes. Now within our element page, this is our registration page. It has header, footer and the page content. What I essentially want on my registration page is to have a simple form and I don't want to even show my header or footer. So in order to do that, I'll click on the settings cog. I'll click on page layout. I'll change it to Elementor canvas. Once you do, it'll just remove the header and footer from our page layout. All we will have is just the Elementor content that we're going to create. So I'll just click on this plus button. I'll pick two columns for my section. So within this, I'll click on this plus button and or I'll search for registered. It's this one by JetBlocks. You need to have that plugin or you can have CrocBlock package. You can get CrocBlock from the link in the description. So I'll just click and drag it under this so it'll have all the content that you need for registration so username password email field and all that these fields are a bit weird and they're kind of i don't know uh, squashed together but we can change this by using css i'll show you how that works in a bit so you can change the username label maybe you can say your username here and that will reflect above as you can see here or you can leave everything at default I'll just leave everything default if you want to change label and placeholder you can do that and these are actually WordPress credentials so once you create a new user or once the user fills this form and clicks on register he'll become your user of your website so he can pick everything else and you can choose what to do after he registers so once he registers he'll also be logged in so you can maybe put him on the same page which doesn't make any sense you can simply redirect him to the home page or you can redirect him to a custom URL I'll just redirect him to home page and if the user name already exists or the email already exists this will be the message that will be shown you can also customize this you can also change the registration register label you can say register now even that will be reflected here even though this is a registration form it's still a form so it will get all the theme styles that you define in your theme styles interface this was introduced in elementor 2.9 so you can go to your theme styles interface and tweak all the theme styles and even those theme styles will be applied to your registration form labels and boxes as well. So we'll not do that now. I think this looks better. How can you change the width of the labels? Well, you need to first get the class of the form. So I'll just minimize the side panel. I'll right click, I'll click on inspect and we'll find out the class of this particular form. And it turns out this is a form with a class of jet register. So this is the class name that we need to know in order to target this form. And then within that, each of the fields is essentially an input field. As you can see here, it's of type input. So you can target it by targeting the form first and then targeting the input. So I'll just go to the section or you can put the code in the column or even in the customized area of your theme or within theme styles custom CSS, wherever you want to put it. We'll target it by class name so you don't even need selector. I'll just click on the section. I'll go to advanced. I'll go to custom CSS. If you don't have Elementor Pro version, you can install master add-ons. It has a free extension to add custom CSS to your free Elementor. You can do that. Or if you have Pro, 
can enter custom CSS here. So we just found out the class of that form is jet register and within that we'll target the input fields. So I'll just say input, I'll give braces. Now let's change the width to 50% and just like that the width is changed. If I change it to 70%, you can see the width of input is changed. I don't know why they don't have input styling or way to uh, change input fields size, but we can do it quite easily with CSS. So you can specify the width in percentage or even you can say VW. So VW is relative to the viewport width. So the form becomes responsive and based on the width of the viewport, it will adjust the width of these labels. I'll also drag in a heading widget above this, which says register here. To this column, I'll just drag in an image widget. I'll just pick an image. We can also tweak the size of the image. I'll go to my media library. I'll pick this one. This was what I showed you in the demo. Or maybe we can pick this one. Doesn't matter. It's a PNG. So it'll have that uh, transform. You can change the size from here. Maybe 300 by 300. And you can position it the way you want by using the vertical align. Let's put it there. I think that looks better. You can also change the image size even from here, change the size from here. We'll just keep it that way. If you want to tweak various properties of this form field, well, you can go to your theme style. I'll just click on theme style. I'll open up theme style interface and I'll tweak the form fields. I'll go to form fields. I'll change the label color to green and you can see it changes that. You can also use a visual CSS editor plugin such as CSS hero or yellow pencil and you can tweak each and every field. I'll just add a border radius of 100 pixels. So that will make all the form fields rounded as you can see here. And on focus, I'll add a border of a solid border of width 2 pixels and the color will be red. So when I click on that, you can see the highlight color. Right now we see the blue outline but on the front end we won't see the blue outline since this is an elementor interface it's showing me the blue outline. Now all my fields are a bit tweaked. You can tweak all the properties within your theme style. It affects all your forms so I'll just hit update. I'm done tweaking the forms styles. You can also use CSS hero like I said earlier. Now let's go back to our normal elementor interface and there's one more property I just want to adjust. These fields are too close to each other so I'll go to the section where I've added the custom CSS. You can put this custom CSS anywhere on this page. You can also put it in the customizer area of your theme but better put it on the same page and right within here I'll just add a margin bottom of maybe around 10 pixels so the fields are properly spaced. I like it that way. You can adjust the width the way you want either in viewport width or percentage that will take the width of the column into consideration. So 40% will essentially be the 40% width of the column that this form is in, which is this one. I can hit update. Now we're done uh, tweaking the form. Let's see, let's uh, exit to dashboard. I also want to change the URL of this page. It's the permalink of this page. So I'll just click on exit to dashboard. I'm here back to my dashboard. I'll click on permalink on the right corner. If you don't see this, you have to click the settings cog click on permalink. I'll just change it to register. I'll update this and that will change the URL to this. Now I can simply type wpexperimenter.com forward slash register and that will open up my page. And I can put the link to this page in my header, in my footer, wherever I want or maybe within a breadcrumb I can put this. Okay, now we have our page. Since I'm logged in on this browser, I'll just open up another browser. Now I'll just type the URL which is WP Experimental Register. That's the registration page permalink, right? So back to my uh, registration page. This is a browser where I'm not logged in. And this is how I see the registration form. And when I click on it, you can see the outline color and how all the fields are rounded on all the labels have the green color. Let's uh, register. I'll, since we've selected the default role as author, whoever registers to my website will be registered and he'll be an author by default unless and until I as an admin changes his role. So I'll just say author2, some dummy email, password, let the password be password, let the confirm password be password. I'll just click on register now. And the moment I do that, I'm registered with the username and the password and I'm automatically logged in and I'll be taken to my homepage because that's what I said in the preferences of the particular JetBlocks widget. And you can see that here. See that? Now if I go to my dashboard, I'll have all the options as an author by default. So I can view others 
so this is how i see my dashboard and i can view others posts but not delete them all the typical things that i can do as you can see i don't have options to delete them i don't have access to elementor settings since i'm an author i can simply customize my profile and i cannot do much as an author and that's what we want a new user to do we don't want to do much so you can go to your profile add your bio on your own whoever registers as a user he can adjust his own bio and all that stuff the typical WordPress stuff so as an author I can actually change my own editing interface I can add my first name and last name I can show how that name would look like I can add all the URL I can also generate my own password and reset my own password now I just want to make one more last change since this is an elementary canvas I just want to stretch this registration form throughout the page well how can I do that so I'll just click on the section I'll change the height to fit to screen that way it fits the entire screen and looks really good i'll update it we'll see how that would look like in a bit i'll also leave the css code in the description so make sure you check that out or it's pretty straightforward you just say dot jet hyphen register input this will tweak all the input fields you can also change the typography values you can also target input by type so you can say type equals text so that will affect only the text field or if you just say input it will affect each and every input field like you see here there are a lot of things that you can do with CSS but I think adjusting the width and margin would be enough because everything else can be done with theme styles I'll just hit update I'll check how the page would look like once it's updated so I'll go back to that same URL I'll just log out from this browser I'll say WP experimental register we'll see how that registration page looks like now and it looks great it stretches to the full width of the page and it looks good on all screen sizes and you can adjust this on mobile and tablet you can simply remove this column and just add a background to the second column you can simply remove this whole column by making it responsive and there's our registration form in action or the custom registration page you can also build your own custom registration page using elementor pro form and dynamic content for elementor plugin i'll also make a video on that stay tuned for that there's also a way to do registration using free WordPress plugins but since we're talking about the visual way of doing things this is more intuitive if you want some complex registration stuff you have to use a registration plugin such as MemberPress, which we'll discuss later on this channel that's it for now hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up this is Karthik from WP Algorithm see you in the next one